No, not really. It doesn't really bother me what people are going to think about the record. We just kind of go in and do what we do, kind of like uh, make the record we intend on making. And if it sounds good to us, I think we've done a good job. Yeah, most people didn't care when the things would come out, so we'd like put it out and then start telling everybody about it. This time, like this unveiling thing, I think we're kind of more relieved than anything to have another record to put out. Grateful, you know, every day is a new blessing. <laughs> yeah, we just we feel so privileged that people want to want to listen to it now. <laughs> when we got off the road after eighteen months, we were all pretty sick of playing the new, the, the old songs, and we started. Uh, me, Bill, and Roddy mostly in the studio just started playing and trying to forget everything and all the other bad habits we'd we'd get, we'd maintain over the last eighteen months. We just it didn't start with a song. It started with a bunch of different stuff that we'd written, little pieces that we just came up with, and maybe some of those pieces never even made it on a record. I don't even remember what we started with, but you know that was a starting point. And we just yeah slowly but surely the stuff started coming out. You know. We started making the record pretty much when we went on tour in Brazil. We started writing stuff on the road, which we hadn't done too much of before. I guess m mostly because it was kind of an easy tour that we did in Brazil. We were only doing like four nights a week. So we started writing songs on the road. And I think those songs were pretty much the beginning of the record. One was called, uh, that finished was called RV. Another one was Sample Song, which probably isn't on the record. Another one was uh, Crack Hitler we wrote in Brazil. This uh, on this uh, record, I was <clears throat> kind of wanted to keep a raw edge to the songs, uh, but uh, I think as far as the rest of the band goes, they had a really good idea of how they wanted the songs to go. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure when we were recording. Uh, exactly what I was going to do on a lot of the songs and uh, I did that I did that on purpose because I wanted to have that sort of raw effect uh, but the rest of the band had it really had the songs really together I think uh, making the record was pretty much enjoyable and the fact that we've been touring for you know the past couple of years and Really hadn't sat down and like worked anything out in the studio in a long time. In that sense, it was enjoyable. Um, in another way, we hadn't really, I mean, for the same reasons, it was difficult to get back into that routine and start writing stuff, putting it down on tracks. Now, I think the frame of mind we were in when we went in to record the record was pretty much lazy. We'd been... Uh, well, just kind of like out of the swing of like writing songs, out of the swing of like putting songs down in the studio. We've been touring for a really, really long time. We've been, you know, playing the same songs for, you know, close to two years. So going into the studio and like writing new stuff was asking a lot. Um, yeah, we went into the studio a little bit, you know, not unsure of ourselves, but uh, a little bit out of practice, I think, more than anything took a while to get back into the swing of things before we started writing what I thought was good material. I think we started out happy because we were so happy to write new stuff. I think we started writing the material feeling relieved as hell, you know? It's like a long card that you've been driving in the stupid car for years and all of a sudden you get, were able to get out of it, you know? Yeah. And that was cool. I think there was a lot of panic involved in there this one too and it gave, it gave a lot of uh, juice to the record. A there's, lot of energy. Yeah, you know, there's a little frustration in the middle when we started having to Officially, I think put stuff together, you know, more so than even just well the music three, and the lyrics were coming. But when we started having to mesh the guitar and and really polish it, that I think that was a bit frustrating. Yeah, on this record more than the others, I think uh, Mike had a lot more time to work on his vocal stuff. Our last record, he kind of came in after the music was already written, and he worked with the music for a couple of weeks, and then put it down on. Uh, tape. This time he was around from the beginning of the you know, writing process and he had a lot more time to work with his vocal stuff, work with his lyrics and also kind of like just help us with the music. So yeah, in that sense it's a lot more representative of the band as it is today. I didn't feel like I was given enough uh, leeway to do what uh, I wanted to do uh, under uh, 
in the in some of the songs, but uh, and it it ended up working out well once it was all done. The title of the record was kind of like just a theme for the record more than anything. It's not a song on the record. It was more just like it's a beautiful name for a really ugly, ugly drug that around in America. I don't know if it's here in England, but in America, a lot of people do this drug PCP. It makes you crazy. It gives you a lot of strength, and uh, it's pretty dangerous. So it was uh, more of a concept than anything for the title of the record to have that title. And then on the cover of the record is a picture of a beautiful swan, and it says angel dust, and on the back is a picture of ugly carnage. Kind of, uh, I think, what I felt at least represented the music that we were going for on this record. It's just like a really beautiful name for a really ugly thing. Just that dichotomy, I think, works really well for the music we're trying to make. I think that uh, the lyrical content has a lot to do with what's going on in Mike Patton's mind. Uh, you know, we leave him to write the lyrics pretty much how he wants to. Whatever he wants to sing about is generally okay as long as it's delivered well uh, and I don't really think there's anything that uh, is inappropriate for our music there was uh, there's always some kind of problems when we're putting a song together about you know well not always but usually there's a problem about how the song's gonna go because it takes a while to figure out how it's going to actually go sometimes. Uh, very seldom have we ever done a song and nobody's had to say anything about it before it was done. It's pretty democratic writing those songs. I mean, everyone has their two cents they've got to put in. For the most part, when we write a song, everybody puts their part in. We'll probably argue a lot about the different parts that are going down. For the most part, everybody has their own say in making the song a whole. What happens is uh, we run out of time, and, and however the song ends up being is, is uh, how it is. We've got a really strange way of writing music, writing records. At least this record, we don't really, I don't really know how we do it because we've only made a few, and I still can't figure out how it works. But uh, it's really kind of, in a way, it's really inefficient the way we do it. So uh, I mean, the, I think the biggest thing was just. You know, I kept looking forward to the day when the record was finally written and recorded, so we wouldn't have to worry about this anymore, because it's, like, everything is always a struggle, you know? And it's kind of like seeing it as a time when the struggle's over and you can tour. Yeah. But touring was the same way, and we toured for a long time, you know? We were looking forward to when we could actually write songs, so... I think the making of this record was a lot like uh, doing homework. <clears throat> Putting on a pot of coffee and staying up all night and just... I don't know, I think the overall feeling was, let's get it over with. It's more confrontational, yeah. But uh, some people are easily provoked. <laughs> a lot of it has to do with, I mean, when we toured though, that last record so long, we realized in a lot of ways we weren't confrontational enough, weren't biting enough, and you miss that, especially when you do it a lot. Because something that, that, that isn't as, hot, as hard as you want to, you notice. But when you do it every night for a long time, you really notice what's yeah. lacking. Yeah. So you tell yourself, next time around, I'm going to make it, Hard for sure. We were playing stuff live that didn't even sound like stuff on the record anymore. It was so much harder. Yeah, on this record, more than the other ones, I mean, we went in and we recorded 20 songs. Usually when we do a record, we go in and we do exactly the number of songs that we're going to record. We record that many songs and put that many songs out on the record. This time we went in and we recorded, I think, about 20 songs and uh, only are putting out 12 or 13 of them. 